So look what I've got over here. This here is Igeria densa, also known as the Brazilian Ilodia. It is a water plant. Uh, so let me take out uh, one here. It looks like this. Um, it is, uh, yeah, long and it has roots as well and it starts to fragment uh, when it's uh, big enough um, so it falls apart and it grows quite rapidly and uh, this uh, water plant is a very good uh, uh, specimen to put under the microscope because the leaves are very thin and the cells are quite transparent so it's quite easily possible to see the chloroplasts like over here um, the chloroplasts are those cell organelles that uh, do photosynthesis so they produce oxygen and under the microscope you can actually see them move around inside the cell and and in this video I'd like to show you how I've done that and yeah so stay tuned. Those chloroplasts, these are cell organelles inside plant cells that do photosynthesis. So this means that they catch sunlight and they use the energy of the sunlight to make glucose and then the energy is stored in glucose. So this is actually a very common thing that can be found not only in water plants of course but also on land, in land plants. And what I wanted to do is, is I wanted to have a very good look at those chloroplasts and not all plant leaves are suitable to look look at them because many of them are simply too thick. Uh, however, um, this uh, water plant here is uh, and has the advantage that the leaves are quite thin. Uh, but where can I get it from? It's a tropical water plant, uh, so it's not easily accessible. Or is it? Well, I went uh, to a shop where they sell water plants for aquariums and uh, I basically simply bought one of them there and uh, took it uh, along home and uh, put it into a jar with uh, fresh water and now I have yeah, a growing plant uh, with uh, plenty of cells uh, to, to look at. Yeah, so I've also found out that uh, in this little tag it's actually mentioned you're not allowed to throw it away in water. And one of the reasons is, is, is that those plants, they grow so rapidly that there is the danger that they actually overgrow um, the other plants. Um, when you look into the cells, uh, then uh, you can also see that uh, it actually the chloroplasts are the only structures that are actually really pigmented. You can also see the cell wall, of course, uh, but other cell organelles like uh, the nucleus, mitochondria, they are quite transparent and therefore difficult to see. But the chloroplasts the plasts themselves, um, they basically they move around uh, in the cell. And the question is now, why do they do that and what makes them move? And uh, this so-called is called cytoplasmic streaming and uh, this basically means that uh, the cell organelles inside the uh, cytoplasm, the cytoplasm is the liquid uh, content um, of a cell, um, this cytoplasm moves around because uh, the chloroplasts can also be moved now to those parts of the cell where actually there is the most sunlight. So this is actually something that can be observed yeah, in some plants. Um, it could also be that uh, the cell really or the cell really does not really care very much um, about moving the chloroplast it simply moves other substances around and the chloroplast is simply dragged along with it because it doesn't really make a difference um, anyway I'm using here different uh, imaging techniques here so for example this here is phase contrast um, and uh, it actually shows that uh, using different techniques uh, you can actually see the chloroplast in a slightly different uh, way preparing is quite straightforward um, over here all I did is I took a little leaf from of the plant uh, directly put it uh, on my microscope slide cover glass goes on top and the cells simply continued to do that uh, what they used to do um, and uh, I had to also wipe the slide a little bit because there was too much uh, water there I did not want to make my microscope dirty yeah and that's it um, it's really that straightforward and that simple um, you can also try to do that uh, with uh, um, with moss moss also has very thin leaves and it's also suitable but many other plants actually yeah you won't see a lot uh, the reason is is that the, the leaf is uh, several cell layers thick um, it uh, takes away all of the light uh, and you're just gonna see dark darkness and uh, no uh, cellular structure no chloroplast because everything's covered up in, in, in a dark shadow and that's the reason why this water plant is, is so extremely suitable. Of course, many of the uh, things that I'm showing you um, are in time lapse. You are able to observe, uh, of course, the movement if you're very patient um, also yeah, in real time. Uh, but uh, as a matter of fact, in time lapse, uh, you can actually see that there is uh, quite often a circular movement of, of the chloroplasts um, around um, in a cell. Um, there are a whole bunch of uh, interesting little experiments that one could do now, like change the light color or the light intensity or temperature and then see how the chloroplasts move differently depending um, on the different environmental factors. 
Right now, I'm really going uh, at high magnification. That's uh, 1,000 times total magnification. And here, um, also in, in real time, uh, we can also see that the, the chloroplasts now, the movement is much more visible because the more you magnify, then you, of course, also the very small and fine movements of the cell contents uh, can also be um, observed much better because, of course, the microscope also magnifies those movements. Uh, the depth of field is already quite low, um, I have to admit. Um, so sometimes uh, some of the chloroplasts move in and out of focus um, as well. So I think uh, that's enough uh, for right now. I hope uh, that you enjoyed the video. Do, please do consider subscribing if you like it. Uh, I have also a whole bunch of uh, links uh, in the description uh, to uh, an affiliate web shop that I have uh, also um, to my sister channel where I talk about uh, microscopes. Uh, yeah, plenty of resources in any case. A big thank you to my supporters of this channel and uh, happy micro hunting. Uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.